Hi, third grade. We're back for Lulu's Mysterious Mission Chapter 2. Last time you remember, Lulu was really upset that her parents were going somewhere. So chapter 2, and they weren't taking her. Lulu's mom started crying at the thought of poor little Lulu left behind and dead of a broken heart. Maybe she sniffled to Lulu's dad, maybe we ought to stay home or take her with us. Maybe we are being too unkind. At this point in every argument that Lulu almost always gets her way because her mom and her dad just cannot bear it when their darling is displeased. It's right at this point that Lulu almost always gets what she wants because her mom and her dad give up and give in, except on those rare occasions like now. For instance, when they try not to. So they're trying not to give in. Lulu's dad cleared his throat and in a strong, firm voice replied to Lulu's mom, no, he said, we're going, she's staying, that's what we decided. And he took a deep breath, we're sticking to it. He then turned to Lulu and said, but you don't have a thing to worry about, dearest darling, because after much research, we've hired the best babysitter in town, maybe the world, to take care of you the week that we're away. Oh, look at mom. Look at dad. And look at Lulu. You can tell by their faces how they're feeling, all three of them. Babysitter, Lulu gasped. Babysitter, babysitters are for babies. They babysit babies. I'm not a baby. Lulu thinks she's no baby because she plays a tough game of Scrabble, goes by herself to the corner store to buy milk, gets good reports from her teachers, earns some money walking dogs, rides a bike with no hands, and has pierced ears. She also is on the softball team, the swim team, and the debate team, and has recently started learning the trombone and is going to be a crossing guard next year. And what Lulu wants to know is why a person who can do all that would need a person called a babysitter. Call her what you want, but her name, Lulu's mom said soothingly, is Miss Sonia Sophia Selinsky, a trained professional. And we're sure, dear, that if you, dear, will give her, dear, a chance, dear, the two of you will get along just fine. In fact, said Lulu's dad, she's moving in this afternoon. We'll show her around the house. Or maybe you two can start to bond before your mom and I leave tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning? They're leaving tomorrow morning? How come Lulu is only now being told that her mom and her dad are leaving tomorrow morning? How come she wasn't told earlier? How come she wasn't even given time to prepare? As the person who's writing the story, I take full responsibility for this decision because anyone who knows Lulu, like I know Lulu, wouldn't want to give her time to prepare. I'm going up to my room, said Lulu to her mom and her dad, and maybe I'll come down and maybe I won't. But while I'm up there, she added as she loudly tromped up the stairs, I'm planning to be very unhappy. Look at her going up the steps. Oh, look at that face. Not a happy camper. That brings us to chapter three. So what is going to happen? Can't wait to see for the next chapter. See you guys.